Hi, this is Avaya from Scrappy Mania, and today in What's in My Stash episode, I'm going to go ahead and try out these pastels. I bought this about two or three years ago. I did not even touch it. I got it at Michael's. It was on sale. It had a price of 80 bucks, and I was able to get it for 20 in the clearance aisle. And I do like what it came with. Let me open this up. It came with... 19 pastel pencils, 11 pastel sticks. Um, it came with a blender, with an eraser, with um, a sharpener, some sandpaper to sand a point on the blocks, I believe. I'm not a pastel artist, so I'm not sure exactly f what that's for, but I believe it's for your blocks to scrape them. And then here's a kneaded eraser. So I just wanted to try them out because they're in been in my stash for a while. I haven't even used them. So I want to see how these these work. So I went ahead and created a background. I had some leftover watercolor paint that I had here and I still have plenty more. So I what I did is I took what was here and I just blotted it on my paper. This is just regular sketch paper that I have coated with gesso. And I went ahead and put some salt on top of it to create that nice little texture. So because these are pastels and the gesso, this gesso is not as rough as I like it to be. I'm going to go ahead and put some clear gesso so that way it will protect the surface here. So the best way to put this clear gesso, you just put a little bit on top. And then I'm going to use, this is from Prima, Art Basics, and I'm just going to lay this down, like so. You can use a paintbrush if you want, but I find that, because I don't want to destroy some of my brushes, because if you don't wash it immediately, this gesso will get in the bristles and not come off. With clear yes, gesso, I noticed that it's very thin, so you tend I tend to put too much of it. So you just need a little bit, a couple of drops, and it should work. Now, let me go ahead and dry this, and we shall be back. So now I have a nice, rougher surface than this one. This one, it does have some roughness, but it's still it's smoother than here. This is a nice, rough surface. So I have this charcoal pencil. I also got it on clearance in um, Hobby Lobby. And I tend to get things when they're on clearance just to try them out because I'm trying the different mediums out there. And since I, you know, I'm not really a professional artist, I just want to see what I like, but I don't want to spend a lot of money in trying out a new um, medium or a new technique that maybe I, I'm not good at or I don't really gonna like it so that's why I like to go to the clearance section of my art stores see what they have in clearance and then try it out and if I like it out you know I'll go ahead and buy more of that stuff but if I don't I just you know um, put it away so I got this charcoal pen and I'm gonna try it out and see how well I like it I really like um, drawing flowers. You can't not go wrong with flowers. Even if you put a little um, blob on your page, once you go over with some watercolor and then go after, um, after the watercolor has dry, you go over it with a pen or a pencil and you create an outline, it works fabulous. It looks nice. So I am really like a lot of flowers, so I wanted to go ahead and try my first experience with pastel with some flowers. So I do like this charcoal. It really works. This charcoal uh, or graphite, I think it's more charcoal. Um, it really works well um, to draw my flowers. And then when I went over it with the pastel, I noticed that the charcoal was blending with the yellow um, pastel pencil and I do like how that looked it gave it a little bit of shading without me intending to make the shading so then now I'm going over with some red because I wanted to mix some of that yellow with my red to create like an orange and some darker um, red on the ends of the flower I, I wanted to make it to give it a little bit of more life to these flowers and give it some variety of colors 
and I, I am liking the, these these um, chalk pencils or, or pastels. The only thing is that they do rub off on your clothes, so my sleeve was getting kind of dirty. So I end up taking off my sleeve in a little bit. Um, and also, if you go over it with your blending stump, it do remove a lot of the pastels as well. One of the things that um, you have to try to resist the urge is to blow on this. You will see me that I tap it because you want to get rid of the excess um, dust that these create. But you do not want to blow it because if you put, you may inhale that. And especially if you're asthmatic or if you have any respiratory issues, this might aggravate that. And I don't know what they put in these pastels. It may not be so good for your health. So just tap it. Um, tap your, your, your page and that will throw, get all that dust out. And then you can go with a wet cloth or a wet baby wipe and clean off that excess dust. And then after I, I went ahead and took a charcoal pencil, again another product that I found in the clearance section of my Hobby Lobby. And I'm fortunate enough that where I live I have all three stores close to me. I have a Michaels, a Joanne, a Hobby Lobby. And I love going to their clearance section looking for any new medium or material that I like to try out uh, and not spend a fortune for it. So I do like these charcoal pencils. The last touches is I'm going over with this gel pen and I'm putting a little bit of gold on my leaves and some accent of gold around my flowers and anywhere that I feel like it needs a little accent. And then after that I go with my food day pen and I do um, put some more outline well, on these you think these you're flowers. almost done and you, you end up, you find another pen like I did and it's like, oh, that looked good there. Sometimes it's hard for me to stop um, putting accents on my flowers or, or, or things like that. But I think I'm going to stop here because if I keep going on, I may just mess it up. So this is my art page. So I hope you like it and thank you for watching. Bye now.